join us uh, for that tomorrow. Back to tonight. So the opening ceremony for the Commonwealth Games gets underway in Glasgow this evening. A host of up-and-coming athletes from London and many established names too will be in action over the next 11 days. Let's cross to our sports reporter, Sarah Orchard, who's in Glasgow for us. Uh, hello, Sarah. What sort of atmosphere can our sportsmen and women expect then? Well, Riz, it is a bit of a cliché at the moment, but the atmosphere is very reminiscent of the London 2012 Olympic Games. Every bus driver, every cabbie, they are all talking about it. And just to explain where I am talking to you now, behind me you can actually see two venues that will be used during the Games. You have, first of all, the Scottish Exhibition Centre. It's nicknamed as the Armadillo, for obvious reasons, and also the Hydro. And one of the sports that both venues will be hosting is the netball at different stages in the competition and Team England actually has two sisters from Tottenham in their squad. They're called Sasha and Kadeen Corbin, nicknamed Kadasha and they actually started out playing the sport with their mum who couldn't be more proud of her two girls. Before they travelled to Glasgow, sisters Sasha and Kadeen Corbin had a few precious days at home but were still out training at Northumberland Park School just behind White Hart Lane feeling proud of their England selection, but also their North London roots. Not a lot of people do get to represent their country plus the area that they're from, so it's great that we can get, we have that opportunity and to do that. It's just amazing to have that kind of support. I mean, to have it, it just feels like the best thing ever. And we just want to go out there and perform to the best of our ability every single time we step out there on court. Netball is one of the most sought after tickets at the Glasgow Games. And organizers moved the final to a bigger venue to satisfy demand. Its growing popularity also means occasionally the sisters do get recognised. You know what's funny? <laughs> um, we don't necessarily get recognised. I think people, they say, oh, I know, I know you from somewhere, oh, yeah. but I don't know where, and I've never seen this person in my life. The pair were introduced to the sport by their mum, Violet, who still plays and couldn't be happier with their Commonwealth Games selection. Um, this is their first major competition as such on the world stage, and... Um, I don't know if it's sunk in quite as much yet, but um, I do know when, I, when they told me about the selection, um, tears just came to my eyes and it was joy and thinking they've actually got there together and it was wonderful. Violet and five others from the local netball club have travelled to Glasgow to watch England, who play their first fixture against Wales on Friday. And Sarah, the sporting action begins tomorrow. Who are the first Londoners hoping for medals? Well, Riz, we are a little bit spoilt in the greater London area for athletes. Let's pick out just a few. First of all, tomorrow in the judo, we have Ashley McKenzie from Queen's Park. He's going to be going in the under 60 kilogram category. He went out of the London Olympics in the second round. And our younger viewers, though, they might know him a little bit better from his TV show exploits on celebrity Big Brother. Next on to cycling, though, a man who needs very little introduction, Maidabelle's Sir Bradley Wiggins. He makes his highly anticipated return to the track in the team pursuit. Then weightlifting, Croydon's Joanne Calvino, who missed out on the London 2012 Olympics. She'll be going in the 48 kilogram category. And lastly, double trouble in the pool. Waltham Forest, Daniel Fogg races in the 400 meters freestyle. And Frimley's Andrew Willis, he goes in the 200 meters backstroke. Now, all the action, though, starts tonight because it's the opening ceremony. There's all the build up right here on BBC One from 8 o'clock. Back to you, Sarah, thanks very much indeed, and good luck to all of them. Thank you.